What's up, you guys? I'm here with a new video today, here with another episode of Crazy Car Chat, where I just say pretty much anything obscure, anything crazy, anything related in Yu-Gi-Oh! And I'm going to start with a very crazy one. They should never, ever have created the pendulum mechanic. That mechanic is bullshit. You mean to tell me that you can summon five monsters at one time, and if they were to be destroyed, you can do it again, and again, and again, just by setting scales. That is fucked up. Now, people might say I'm biased because I don't like pendulum decks. I'm not being biased, you guys. Honestly, they're going to create mechanics in this game that we never understand, mechanics that are just so beyond, you know, imagination that, you know, you just either you have to adapt to the game or, you know, you quit. Personally, I just think the pendulum mechanic is insane. Not only that, have you seen the pendulum monsters? Do I need to remind you about Kirin? Kirin is one of the best cards ever created. I hate Kirin, but I'm not gonna give it, you know, I'm not gonna give it a bad rap when I know it's one of the best cards in Yu-Gi-Oh. That card is insane. Can't be targeted, can bounce shit. I mean, you it's so crazy in Metal Foes. You just scale it, pop it, and then it's loaded up like a gun to just come out whenever it wants. The fact that pendulums are a thing is just insane in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh used to be just, you know, if you could make a big board, you could make a big board. It was not as easy as it is now. Nowadays, the game has become create an unbreakable board and tell your opponent good luck. Pendulums have really, really made that happen. With Bambuku being able to search Kirin, being able to search other Magic Specters, it's just insane. Pendulums just in general have been insane ever since Plush Fire and, um, what is it, Skull, uh, Skull Crobat Joker and, you know, all the, the whole performances and pals when they were tier zero for like that, well, that one event. And it's just, it's insane to me that, you know, pendulums are a mechanic. Personally, I I wish they were never invented, but there's nothing I can say. I've learned to adapt. I feel that Metal Foes is an extremely good deck. Don't get me wrong. Shout out to all the Metal Foes players. It's a very good deck. I've lost to it many times. I feel the deck is just really well, you know, put together for a Pendulum deck, but I feel that it is pretty insane. Do we need to remind you about Klee's, the first, one of the first Pendulum decks that was just like, pay eight, I win the game. Like, it was insane. Being able to search scales at any time, being able to just summon five monsters, I mean... The whole mechanic is insane. But what I want to know was, was what you guys think. Do you think pendulums should never have been created? And if so, why? Do you think pendulums are good for the game? And if so, why? I am on, you know, the side that, in a way, I wish they were never invented. But since they were, and since they are a big part of our game now, I've learned to adapt. And I've learned to accept it. But I feel like, had they never been invented, where do you think our game would be right now? Without pendulums, where would Yu-Gi-Oh be? Now, you could be fr uh, feel free to say, oh, our game would be dead without pendulums. Do you feel that way? I personally don't. I feel our game would always find a way to come back um, even when people say that the game is dying but I definitely feel that without pendulums our game would be in a different uh, a different place do you think it would be healthier do you think it would be less healthier what do you think Konami would have come up with if they didn't come up with pendulums now, let me know what you guys think fight it out in the comments I hope you guys enjoyed the video smash that like button 50 plus likes for our next crazy car chat which will happen sometime next week I got more videos on the way I hope you guys enjoyed it thanks for you know tuning in every day and whenever I upload videos be sure to follow me on all my social media Facebook Twitter Instagram, Snapchat, all that shit. Um, I'm going to start having, you know, posting stuff there where we're going to have just like Facebook exclusive stuff. So be sure to add me on Facebook and, uh, you know, follow me on Instagram. Same stuff there. And we'll be having contests and stuff there soon. So I hope you guys enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.